Okay, I'm going to show you this both in the new Seller Hub, which is the screen you're seeing now, and then I'm also going to show it to you in the uh, Selling Manager in case you're still using that. So you can find it both ways. Uh, this is Seller Hub. This is about the middle of the page. Uh, if you come down to this section called Shortcuts, you're going to see Site Preferences. And if you're not seeing site preferences in here, that means you didn't have it as one of your shortcuts uh, when you had the, the regular selling manager. Uh, if you need help with that, just post over on the Facebook group and, and we'll dig up that information for you on how to get there. But it should be there. Pretty much this is a default item that almost everyone has. So site preferences, and you click on that. You're going to scroll down here till you see this right here. You want to go to your marketing tools and then you're going to see item promotion summary and this is where you can change uh, whether or not people see those things. So cross promotion, you want to go in and edit those settings. All right. Um, you can check to cross promote and check out, cross promote in all other available areas. I want to do not cross promote my items. Do not cross promote my items. That's what I'm going to do. Or maybe you still want to say cross promote and check out. Um, that way you haven't disrupted the buying process, but uh, you give people the option of seeing another item that's similar and adding on. So we, we can just leave it at that too. Uh, but what you don't want is cross promote in all other available areas, all right? Because the thing is that, yes, your items will show up for others and others will show up for you in whatever one of these areas that you select, okay? Um, then down below here, this is how you decide. And remember, whatever you're deciding here, you're deciding on uh, for other listings as well and, and when people see yours. So that's why you want to think about this. So uh, when it does show up, I you know, I wanted to show items with gallery and they can randomly select, you know, or you can do ending soonest, ending last, newly listed, highest, lowest price, all of that good stuff. All right. You can, you can select up to 12 items. I think eight's a nice round number and what format and all of that good stuff. Okay. And you can change your cross promotion settings. I do like people to see um, other items that I have ending and, and so I'm going to leave this one at that. On another store, I, I'm when I go over to the regular selling manager, I'm going to show you how I do that differently. Um, all right, and then you have to apply whatever you select. If you want to turn it off completely, then just hit this do not cross promote my items. And the thing with this to be very, very aware of is to look at your sales, look at your impressions, look at the traffic that's coming to your store and your conversion rate of whether anybody is buying anything when they come to your store and see if this increases by making this change. If you don't see an increase, then this was probably not the problem in slow sales. So it's really important to use the actual information to determine if this was a success. I will also note, don't try a whole bunch of things at the same time. Do this, test it for a month or two, and see if that causes a change in your business. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to do this in Selling Manager. Now I'm going to show you how to change your cross promotion settings in the regular Selling Manager Pro and Selling Manager. You simply hover over Account, go to Site Preferences, and that's going to pull up pretty much the same screen we saw before. See, direct it right back here. Find that one where the marketing tools are, promoting similar items. We hit that. We go to this. So I'm going to go into Settings and Edit. I am going to do not cross promote any of my items. Why? Because I am promoting my own items. I am getting my own traffic to my site. So I'm going to use apply. I just want them to buy my stuff and we're good. And it's that easy. And as I said, you need to track your numbers, track and see 
how this works for your business. If this causes a decrease in sales, then of course you're going to want to turn back on and play with those cross promotion settings. Uh, but I suspect you're going to see an increase, especially to those who do not sell on lowest price. Uh, and I don't recommend selling on lowest price because that is just a race to the bottom and keeping prices low. There are people out there who don't need to find the lowest price as long as you have a reasonable price and a price with value added. And those are the things such as free shipping and best offer and one day handling and customer service. All right. Now go be profitable and make it fun and make lots of sales.